Hello, this is Reza Rad from Radicat. In this video, I'm going to talk about a very common question in the world of Power BI, uh, which is what is the difference between Power BI or Power Query data flows uh, and the data warehouse? Which one you should choose? Uh, what are pros and cons? Let's see how it is. If you are a beginner in data flow, I have done some, I have written some articles and published some videos about it. Data flow in general is a power query transformation process that runs in cloud. It is independent from Power BI. So uh, it is not just Power BI data flows, it's basically Power Query data flows and uh, it writes its output into Azure Data Lake Storage or Common Data Services, which is nowadays called. Uh, Dataverse, uh, it is a service for itself, basically a data transformation engine and a service. Uh, on the other hand side, what is a data warehouse? Now data warehouse, um, I don't call it Azure data warehouse because there are different ways of using a data warehouse. Some, uh, some organizations use Azure data warehouse technologies such as Azure SQL data warehouse, Azure Synapse, Azure SQL database combined with some other stuff around it, such as Azure data lake, Azure data breaks, uh, some using uh, on-premises version of these, which is basically like SQL server database engine and SSIS, SS, um, SS, um, RS or other, let's say, uh, data services tools of SQL server. Uh, and some users uh, use hybrid uh, options such as the data transformation is on server uh, on premises but for example their databases in the cloud so what i mean here is basically the storage and compute that uh, that keeps the dimensional data which we use it for reporting and analytics in the future that is the data warehousing technology uh, so what is the difference between these two now? Uh, there are many differences. Um, there are uh, aspects to consider. I'm going through them one by one. Uh, the first thing is that one of the reasons uh, we use data warehouse is that it is a scalable. Um, depends on the technology, of course, you use. If you use Azure data um, technologies, such as Azure SQL database even, or Azure Synapse, you have the option to change and scale your compute up or down. Uh, it would, of course, cost, um, but, but you have the option to do so. If you have technologies on-premises, uh, you are limited to the server specification you've got, but still you have the option to upgrade your server and do some customization on that. In the world of data flow, however, the customization is a little bit more limited. You can use the enhanced compute engine. You can bring your own Azure Data Lake storage, which give you the amount of storage you want, but it is not that scalable that we have in data warehouse technologies that we can scale every part, the compute part itself and the storage in different ways. Um, so data warehouse is definitely a winner on scalability. Uh, on the other hand side, data flow is very user friendly. Like you can expect someone mm, without much experience of development to sit in front of a laptop or a computer and uh, build a data flow solution after a few tries and errors because it has a really simple graphical interface everything designed really well the whole power platform is actually designed on this practice that everything should be uh, like user friendly citizen data developers should be uh, citizen developers should be able to use it um, versus with the data warehouse you don't expect something like that Another thing is that data warehouse normally is not enough by itself. For example, if you use Azure um, Synapse or Azure Data Lake Storage or Azure, uh, let's say, SQL Database, any of these technologies as your storage engine, you still need some other components. You probably need Azure Data Factory to do the data transformation, basically data ingestion. You might need Azure Data Break to do some transformations or uh, bringing some machine learning around it and, and some other stuff around it. Uh, 
uh, it's not just like one tool or component you use uh, when you do the data warehouse. You have other components that you have to combine them in order to achieve uh, a whole solution. Versus in Dataflow, you get everything like all in one. Uh, really simple to use. It has the Power Query transformations. It has the storage options. Like if you use Power BI Dataflows, your storage is Azure Data Lake storage. Uh, it can be built in power, part of Power BI, or you can bring your own storage. Um, if you are using Power Platform um, data flows, um, uh, there are options to choose uh, Dataverse or Command Data Services, as it was called, um, or Azure Data Lake Storage, depends on the type of data flow you are creating. So uh, it's much simpler. Everything is built in all together as one package. You don't feel that you need to bring this component, you need to bring that component. It's much easier to use, again, as I mentioned. Uh, exactly because of that, Dataflow can be cheaper because you don't combine so many components. If you use Dataflow just built in, um, imagine a scenario like this. There is an organization already using Power BI Premium license, so Dataflow wouldn't really cost anything for them. They would have Dataflow, just like that, right? It wouldn't cost anything at all. Um, now, cost and license and all those kind of things is really tricky to discuss because depends on the scenario you might get different results like there there are scenarios that data flow might not be the best option right um but um usually based on my experience if you are using some of power bi services and if you have some power bi licenses especially premium data flow can be a very cheap option for you in a usual scenario uh, data warehouse needs a developer touch. Uh, you need to have someone with good understanding of uh, development. Mostly they need to understand the database language, T-SQL, but not just that. They also need to understand um, data transformation technologies such as Azure Data um, you know, factory, a little bit of like data breaks to combine these together. Now in the teamwork, you might have different people doing different things, but still you need a team of developers to do that. These knowledge uh, requires a learning curve. Uh, they need to spend time to learn about these things versus Dataflow is designed for a citizen data developer, citizen data engineer or data wrangler, uh, someone with low or uh, little knowledge of development would be able to create a data flow because it is basically similar to Power BI graphical interface. Everything is much simpler to do. So if I want to wrap everything in one, uh, um, oh, look, one last thing before that, um, Data Warehouse is designed for enterprise administration and team development because Data Warehouse technologies took like many years, 20 years to build. And, and these technologies is designed for having a lot of options to do administration on every granular object, uh, team development, someone taking care of the storage, sometimes someone taking care of data transformation, someone taking care of data ingestion. Data flow is not there yet. Uh, like the administration and teamwork of that is still limited, which um, fits actually the purpose, considering that this is designed for a citizen data developer, it fits the purpose, but it is not comparable to data warehouse in terms of like enterprise uh, abilities of that. So if I want to com combine everything in one, there are some other differences as well, but if I want to combine everything in one analogy, um, comparing data flow versus um, data warehouse is like buying a car or or buying the components and building it. Like for example, imagine you want to um, you want to get from somewhere to another place. You want to drive there, and the road is not uh, is not that hard. It's not a really long road, not much obstacles. Uh, you can go and buy a car that has everything included. You just drive there and get there. Right? You probably just fuel it uh, and do some regular maintenance versus if you are taking a really long road the road that has a lot of obstacles in some areas there might not be a road as well it might be like there is no road you might need to fly or do something about it um, in those cases you probably need to customize 
and build something for uh, for that purpose. You can go and buy engine, you can go and buy tires, do something. You might even create a car that even flies. Uh, if you did that, just let me know. I would like to sit in that car anyway as well. Uh, you would require a team of engineers, a team of people who can help you to build such a thing, to assemble that components together. But if you have that skill set, if you have those components, then you can achieve something that you can do many things about. So data flow um, is replacement of data warehouse? No, definitely not. You can build a data warehouse with data flow, like you can build a dimensional storage and build and store things with the data flow. However, it would not be exactly as the data warehouse. Uh, it would not have all those scalability and enterprise features of that. But doesn't mean data flow is weak and you cannot use it for that purpose. No, it doesn't. It all depends. If you like this video, go ahead and subscribe into our YouTube channel. We have weekly videos about Power BI.